Number 49, a hot rock ejected from a volcano's lava fountain cools from 1100 degrees Celsius to 40 degrees Celsius, and its entropy decreases by 950 joules per Kelvin. How much heat transfer occurs uh, from the rock? All right, so basically, uh, this one's fairly similar to number 48, so you can check that one out. Uh, this is basically saying that the change in entropy uh, will be equal to now the change in heat energy transferred, okay, divided by then the temperature. Now, the thing is, if you're talking about, uh, what are we talking about? The entropy decrease, basically, of the, of, of the rock, right? How much heat transfer occurs from the rock. So if we're trying to find the heat transfer from the rock, we better know the temperature of the rock, and we then need to know the change in entropy of that rock. So essentially, now, uh, what we have to do in this particular case is notice how we're dealing with all change values here, okay? Now, the temperature that we need to utilize in this formula is the absolute temperature of the rock, not the average temperature. Excuse me, excuse me. It is the average temperature, not the change in temperature, but the average temperature, okay? So in other words, we have two temperatures here, but we gotta find the average value between those two, all right? And the change value then that's occurring uh, from the change in entropy here is really a result of the change in heat being gained or lost by the rock. And we know that the fountain is cooling, right? So that, that value should be negative. We don't necessarily have to plug in that negative sign. Uh, we can just plug it in at the end because we understand that it's going to be uh, negative. So in any case, it tells us the decrease in entropy was 950, right? So we can plug that in, 950. We're solving for the, uh, the heat, right, of the rock that was lost and divided now by the average temperature. So how do you find the average between those two? You got to add them together and then divide it by two, but you need it in, remember, Kelvin. All right, so basically you can do the work on the side. So 1100 plus then the 273, right? You get your answer of 1373. And then you're gonna take your 40 degrees, so 273 plus then your 40 degrees, and you're gonna add those two together, right? So you get 313, and then you're gonna find the average between these two by adding them and then dividing by two. So why don't we do that? So it's uh, 1373 plus 313 divided by two. And uh, it'd be help if I wrote in the division sign. 843. So this is about an average temperature of 843. Okay. And now all we need to do is just multiply them together, right? Those two values there so that we can find the Q of the rock. Now it's going to be positive because I did not plug in the negative sign. I could have in the beginning. Um, but it doesn't really matter as long as you plug it in at some point. So this is 8.01 times 10 raised to the, what do we have? 345. And that's in terms of joules, since we're talking about just energy, all right? And again, you can plug in a little negative sign if you like. Uh, if you left it out, it's fine too, because they're, they're telling you how much heat transfer occurs from the rock. You can say this, you can give the negative sign, or you can say that uh, 8.01 times 10 to the 5 joules was lost. It doesn't matter. All right, so hopefully this helps, guys. Please remember to help us out if we were able to help you by subscribing, hitting the like button, and maybe even telling your friends. We appreciate it very much. Take care.